up to the bike. Okay, so I, I want to tell you about why um, Globe University is important to me. Good? Okay. Growing up in Minneapolis, I decided I wanted to go to school far away. So I went out to Seattle, Washington to Luther Bible Institute, which I know is very, very Republican of me. <laughs> but I'm not Republican, sorry. I digress. And I was there four days before I met and fell in love with this wonderful man from North Dakota. I wanted to be a youth director. He did as well. I was there into my second year and decided I wasn't a very good youth director because I want everybody to do things my way, and as you know, kids don't do that. <laughs> so uh, he was going to continue on to be a youth director, and I decided to go back to Minneapolis to become a floral designer. And his third year, he decided to do NDSU, and then we were going to do his fourth year. He was going to do his fourth year out at LBI again back in Seattle. So right after uh, the fall was starting, he was in Fargo, I was in Minneapolis, I found out I was pregnant. And no, before we get into birth control things, remember the only birth control that's 100% effective is abstinence, so <laughs> we don't need to go that way right now. <laughs> so um, as you know, being at a Bible school, finding out I'm pregnant was not a good thing. And having to tell my parents was even worse. My father collapsed on the table and said, see what religion will do to you. <laughs> true story, true story. And he said that your young man has 24 hours to get down here. So, uh, of course, he immediately came down, and my parents said, so what are you going to do? And I said, well, I want to finish school. And they said, I don't care what you want to do. It's now what's best for the baby. So I dropped out of school. We did get married. Now, remember, I'm barely 20 years old. Didn't want to get married because, um, you know, 90% divorce rate on teens, and we were barely out of our teens. And we were both college students. Got married, moved up to Fargo with him. Um, our first daughter was born in June, and um, so he, we thought, well, we'll take a year off, get some money saved, and try and head back to Seattle to get his fourth year done. Okay, he's got three years out. So once again, fall rolls around. You know, our remember our daughter's born in June. Find out I'm pregnant again. <laughs> again, there's no birth control that's 100% effective. <laughs> Not 100%. So she was born in July, so I've got a, f you know, and, my, uh, and so my first daughter's 13 months, and then our second daughter was, you know, born. And my husband said, if we don't go now, we're not going to go. We have no money. We've got doctor bills from two kids without insurance. And I said, you know what? You're right. So we packed up the kids in the car that we had no money to really pay, got out there, and... Um, we were homeless for a while. We were getting food baskets for a while. It was incredibly tough. But we got through school, and he graduated. Yay! He got his first job in Williston, North Dakota, where I got pregnant again. <laughs> 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 and so our third daughter came along in September, and then he got a job in Detroit Lakes. We were there for five years, and then he got another career opportunity here in Fargo. So here we are in Fargo. I was doing waitressing jobs. I was doing some floral design jobs. And then I got this really cool job at Moxie Job. And this is when Moxie was brand new in town. I was their opening manager. We opened five stores in five years. It was just awesome. I was working at one of the stores. And one of my customers, who was a regular, came in and said, you know, I'd like to hire you at Great Plains Software. I go, I never finished college. I have no skill set. She goes, no, I think we'll start you out as a receptionist. I said, awesome. So I went, got this fabulous job that just changed my life at Great Plains Software. I had been there a week, and my manager came up and said, I understand you want to finish college. I said, yes, I would love to. And she said, you've got one year, and we'll cover the cost. Oh, my gosh. Huge, 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 huge. So about this time, my kids are like junior high age. I'd always secretly wanted to finish before they got out of high school. So going back to college, when you have kids, and you've always told them you can't study in front of the TV, they were now pushing that on me. <laughs> but you know what? In June of 2000, I graduated, and I got that diploma. Yay! <laughs> I was so proud. My husband was so proud, and the kids were so proud. It was just really fun for them to watch their mom accomplish that. We got our three kids through college. Two are now married. I have a son-in-law. I've got a great-grand. And I decided I wanted to work on my MBA. Graduated with that in 2012, yay! <laughs> Highly educated. But you know, through all this, things just didn't go as planned. And um, one other thing that didn't go as planned is we found out in June 7th of 2010 my husband had terminal cancer. 
So now he's now out of the picture, and I'm in this high-stress job at Microsoft, and I just thought, you know, what am I doing? This just isn't working anymore. So about a year after he passed, I decided it was time to leave and find a job I really liked. And a friend of mine who I had gone to grad school with was at Globe, and she said, why don't you come teach a class while you're trying to figure things out? So it, I just knew it was just this building on the corner, so I thought, huh, what can it hurt? I'll at least be doing something a little productive. And when I went over there, I was surprised at the, at the programs they have. They have business accounting, IT, paralegal, which if you're looking for a good paying job, get into paralegal. Massage therapy, vet tech, everything is hands-on. They do surgery on Thursdays. If you don't like surgeries, don't go on a Thursday. <laughs> There's a big window and it gets kind of gross. It gets kind of gross. But for me to now have a part in this, and thankfully they had a full-time opening not long after I started there as community manager, which is exactly what I was doing at Microsoft. So now, you know, these students who go there, life doesn't go as it planned for them, for many of them either. A lot of them are single parents. A lot of them have been to two to five institutions, so they're coming with huge debt. A lot of them are, this is their last chance before, you know, before they just run out of options. Some of them come right out of high school and need to have that little bit of guidance because we have small classes one-on-one. -on -one. And so Globe is such a great place because you come there and you're part of our family. And we get to know the kids because it's, it's a very, very small place. And we also, something really cool is that every quarter we do graduation, so they're all really small. And all their families come, and so many of these people who graduate are first-gen graduates. And to see their parents so proud of these students is just cool. And to see their kids come and be proud of mom and dad, it's amazing. So one of the reasons we want to sponsor tonight is to share that story, but also because we love what you guys are doing too. You've all got a story, and we want to be part of it and want to hear your stories as well. So thank you. Have a great night.